by their heels to a disc of the floor, moved to spurts from a pillar of music, cranked from the past like grainy honey. Their ears are wood, their nostrils painted red, their marble eyes startled, distended with effort, their jaws carved grimaces of speed. Round and round go the flying horses, backs arched in utmost leaps, necks up tossed or stretched out, manes tangled by a wooden wind. As if lungs of wood inside their chests pumped, their muscles heave and bunch beneath the colored traces. Round and round go the flying horses. Forked in the saddles are thrilled children with polished cheeks and fixed eyes who reach out in a stretch of ambition, leaning out from the turning pillar. They lean out to snatch the rings that are all of wood, but there's one of brass. All feel lucky as pass after pass they stay fixed to the flying horses. The horses' reins and stirrups are leather. Holes in the rumps spout actual hair that hangs to the heels that are held to the floor that wobbles around to the reedy tomb. Their tails sweep out on a little wind that stirs the grass around the disc where the children sit and feel they fly because real wind flies through their hair. There is one motion, and it is round. There is one music, and its sound issues from the fulcrum that repeats the grainy tune forever wound in the flutings of wooden ears. There is one luck, but it is rare, that if you catch will grant release from the circle of the flying horses. But round and round on the fixed horses, fashioned to look as if running races, the children ride as if made of wood, till wrinkles carve their smiling faces, till blindness marbles all their eyes. Round and round to the sagging music, the children, all bewitched by their greeds, reach out to gather the wooden rings, and each ring makes a finger stiff as oil from the fulcrum blackens the grass. Round and round go the flying curses, carved and colored to look like speed. 